did you use? Spoilers. 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 I like that word. I thought you might. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. So today we're going to be kicking off the brief history of the Cybermen. But even before we begin, we have something of a problem. Because whilst many fans will recognise what a Cyberman is in general terms, when you start to separate them out, it actually gets a little bit more complicated. The Cybermen are known to have many different origins as a form of parallel evolution stemming from many different species. As the Twelfth Doctor himself put it, They always get started. They happen everywhere there's people. This means that whilst they are classed as Cybermen in general, there are in fact many different subspecies of Cybermen. As such, this A Brief History series will be done in a slightly different format, with each part focusing on a different subspecies. But for the first episode, we're going to focus on their many different origins, just to give you an idea of how many subspecies there actually are. Now for this, I'm only going to cover subspecies that have been categorically stated to be the Cybermen. So any other species or beings which share similar characteristics characteristics such as the retribution from the big finish audio the skyman but are not explicitly confirmed to be cybermen themselves will not be included in this video i'm also not going to include any subspecies that have originated from the cybermen themselves such as the cybermasters seen in the timeless children or other converted species such as the cyberlurians from the comic supremacy of the cybermen whilst these beings are a subspecies in their own right they do not deny note a single origin point for the Cybermen, i.e. they did not evolve from a non-cyber species. They were a non-cyber species that were converted by the Cybermen. Now with that all being said, there are some conflicting accounts of some of the origins. So as with other A Brief Histories, all information will be given in this video and it is up to the debate of the audience as to what is or isn't considered canon. The Cybermen created on Mondas are actually some of the more complex in terms of their origins, as there are several different accounts of how they came about. The earliest chronologically in-universe example of the Mondas Cybermen was given in the comic the Cybermen. These Cybermen existed alongside the Lizard Kings, who were the Mondasian equivalent to Earth Silurians, and also equivalent to the Sea Devils on prehistoric Mondas. Originally ape-servant-like creatures, they were cybernetically augmented by the other races, eventually superseding these other species to become the dominant race. Eventually, however, these Cybermen died out before being discovered later by Mondasian archaeologists, who presumably recreated created these Cybermen from the remains. The more widely accepted and generally more well-known origin story of the Mondas Cybermen is told in the Big Finish story, Spare Parts. In this story, these Cybermen's origins are revealed to be the result of the native Mondasians beginning to convert themselves in order to cope with Mondas itself becoming less and less hospitable, and in part revealing that the Fifth Doctor was partly responsible for their creation. Despite his attempts to try and prevent any further Cybermen being created, he ultimately failed, leading to the remaining Mondasians being converted into Cybermen. Whilst the generally held view is that these Cybermen who colonised Telos were in fact from Mondas originally, according to the account given in the novelizations of the Moonbase and Tomb of the Cybermen, they originated on the planet Telos, possibly in parallel with Mondas, after the planet's native inhabitants sought to achieve immortality through the use of cybernetics, eventually upgrading themselves almost entirely. These first Cybermen became aware of their lack of emotions and became fixated on becoming more and more powerful, and, depending on the continuity you follow, possibly later colonised Mondas. Due to the contradictive nature of this particular origin story, it has since been widely accepted that the Telos and Mondas Cybermen are indeed one and the same, and the continuity of the Mondas Cybermen colonising Telos in Attack of the Cybermen is in fact the true continuity. However, the mention of Telos as a separate origin point for the Cybermen in The Doctor Falls once again, leaves this a little unclear. 
According to an account given in the comic The World Shapers, the Vord of Marinus acquired a World Shaper and used it to accelerate time, and in doing so, turned themselves into Cybermen. This account also stated that Marinus was in fact an earlier name for Mondas, which later went on to become known as Planet 14. However, both the novel Iceberg and the archive tapes imply that Mondas and Planet 14 were different planets after a group of Cybermen from Mondas moved to Planet 14. This is also backed up by the TV episode The Doctor Falls, in which the 12th Doctor explicitly states that Mondas, Planet 14 and Marinus as individual examples of parallel evolution of the Cybermen. Mondas, Telos, Earth, Planet 14, Marinus. Which brings us on to... One of the most recent examples of the Cybermen's origins. These Cybermen came into being on a Mondasian colony ship, which was suspended before a black hole. Due to the time dilation difference between the top and bottom of the ship, however, some colonists resorted to converting themselves into Cybermen, both because their area of the ship had become less and less habitable, but also to extend their lifespans in order to make the long journey through the time dilation to take control of the ship. Beginning as Cybermen which looked similar to those originating on Mondas, they continued to upgrade and evolve them themselves through other guises, which appeared similar to other designs seen in other examples of their evolution. Known as Operation Exodus, the Harold Saxon incarnation of the Master also played a part in these events, as did his future incarnation known as Missy. But this wouldn't be the first, or should that be last time, that the Master was involved in the genesis of a group of Cybermen. The previously mentioned incarnation of the Master known as Missy created her own army of Cybermen through the 3W Institute. On the surface, it appeared to be an organisation which preserved people's still conscious bodies after they died by submerging their skeletons in a preservative liquid known as Dark Water. In reality, however, they were converted into Cybermen, with their exoskeletons hidden by the Dark Water and their minds uploaded into the Neversphere, where Missy had their emotions removed before downloading them back into their cyber bodies. The many different origins of the Cyberman was also not unique to Endspace, as they evolved in many different parallel universes. In a parallel universe more commonly known as Pete's World, the Cybermen were created by John Lumick, CEO of Cybus Industries. Created originally as a means to prolong his own life, Lumick's Cybus Cybermen eventually came to believe that all of humanity needed to be upgraded in order to preserve all information and remove all weaknesses of the human form. Another group of Cybermen originating in a parallel universe were encountered by Unit and the War Master in the Big Finish box set, The Cyber Reality. These Cybermen sought to upgrade the entire multiverse through use of their Cyber Mainframe, a network which allowed communication between all Cyber Units. But with those last two short entries, if you want to know more, go and check out the media, we have it all parallel evolutions of the Cybermen, I think. And I say that because the Cybermen have so many different origins, it is possible that I may have missed one, or that another origin story will come up at a later date after I have made this video, and obviously will not be covered in it. So whilst at the time of recording this video is up to date, please check out the pinned comment for any future updates to this video, as they may occur in future. Now, in the cases of some of the multiple origins, don't worry if this was a lot to take in, I will be doing a mini recap at the start of each subspecies to explain their origins again. But for now, I hope that whets your appetites, and we will be delving into each subspecies of the Cybermen in their own videos, with some new editions of A Brief History very soon. So, as always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot, and be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm still working on my figure animation, it's taking a little longer than I thought, but it is coming. There is exclusive content and rewards for those who support my Patreon, and supporting my Patreon gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.